today, ma'am, sir, panelists. We are glad to present to you our project entitled, Span Coffee Grounds as Bioaggregate Admixture in Concrete. I am Joanna Marie A. Miguel. Good day, I am Eden Pimara. Good day, I am Jessamy Vicente. Good day, engineers. I'm Clarice Anvita Kumos. Good day, engineers. I'm Hyacinth Love Jiggy Love. Contents Statement of the problem Relevance of the study Impact of the study Methodologies Pavement concrete is one of the most widely used infrastructural materials with applications in highways, airports, streets, and roads. In today's modernization, advanced building technologies, design methodologies, and non-renewable raw materials become scarcer due to rapid urbanization. Landfill space becomes smaller due to tons of garbage each year. Nowadays, drinking coffee is the hobby of many people. Coffee is a popular drink and the most essential ingredient in humans' daily life in the modern world. On the other hand, this causes the production of millions of relevant waste, that is, plastic cups, coffee chops, or silver skin, and spent coffee grounds ends up in landfills. Also, because of the sudden popularity of coffee shops everywhere in the Philippines. These questions will serve as a guide to this research study. The researchers aims to provide the answers to the following. First, what will be the compressive strength value of the concrete with spent coffee grounds? Second, how does using spent coffee grounds as bioaggregate admixture affect the environment? The third and the last one, does using spent coffee grounds considered more economical than using fine sand aggregate? The concept of using coffee grounds as a recycled construction material stems from the observation that coffee ground particles are granular and closely resemble sand. This research aims to create an advanced material based on waste from beverages by reusing it as a pavement subgrade material. Apart from reducing the volume of waste disposed of in landfills, this research aims to create an economical raw material that we will all benefit from since coffee has become an embedded part of our culture. It makes sense then that we are conducting an experiment with these little beans. This research will have an impact to the society, especially in the construction industries. There will be an experience of the people since they will benefit from it and it will minimize the cost of the final material. This research will have an impact to the environment since it will lessen the coffee weights disposed in landfills. Since the consumption of coffee increases annually, the waste of the coffee grounds also increases, which will become an environmental problem. Using coffee grounds as the subgrade material will reduce the landfill demand. Therefore, this work ensures that the recycling of coffee waste gives an effective approach to conserve the environment. And materials we will use are cement coffee grounds, cement, sand, gravel, plastic canvas, aluminum trays, potable water, calibrated container for water volume, cylindrical mold, 150 by 300 mm diameter. 
equipments we will use are weighing scale, CBOR, 2 mm, shovel, trowel, gloves, universal testing machine. Procedures First is by collecting. The coffee grounds will be collected from selected coffee shops in Bambang, Bayambong, and Solano Nueva Vizcaya. Next is drying. To avoid mold and fungus propagation, the collected coffee grounds will be immediately dried spreading them out on a plastic canvas under the sun, preferably 5 to 7 days until it dries completely, mainly due to the high natural moisture content. Next is saving. Dried coffee grounds will pass through a 2 mm sieve to filter out coagulated coffee ground particles and to maintain a controlled particle consistency. Next is compaction. It will be carried out by mixing the Portland cement, sand, dried coffee grounds, and gravel. The total materials will be weighed using a weighing scale before compaction and compared to the final specimen to ensure that the specimens will be prepared. After compaction is the curing. The compacted concrete materials will be molded into cylindrical samples and left to cure for a standard duration of 28 days. Some portions of the experiment even require curing durations of 7 and 40 days. Next is testing. After the curing process, the concrete will be tested using the universal testing machine with the supervision of the instructor. This test will be carried out in the accordance of ASTM. The last one is the statistical analysis. The test results will be analyzed using the completely randomized design to determine whether there will be a statistically significant difference between the average compressive strengths of different mixtures. Thank you!